always get told we have to cut our own carbon footprint to fight the climate crisis. But some of the best ways to take action barely get talked about, and they don't involve cutting your carbon footprint at all. Talk about it. Yes, just talk about climate. Talk about it every day from the heart. Sounds small, but it's been proven to be a huge solution. One in four Americans say they never hear people they know talk about climate. But talking about climate facts with your friends and family helps everyone have greater acceptance of the science. It's actually proven to work. North Carolina State University studied hundreds of families where kids taught their parents classroom lessons on climate. When the kids talk to their parents, the scientists found they increased their parents' concern about climate in every single family. So start talking. If you want to take it to the next level, you can sign up. Volunteer with a climate organization that has already done the heavy lifting for years. Join the Sierra Club to help shut down a coal plant. Join a school strike to make your voice heard. Join Extinction Rebellion or 350.org or Greenpeace. You can give them as much or as little time as you like. These groups need you and they're effective. For example, the Sunrise Movement effectively shifted the Democratic candidates to focus on climate for the first time in years. And Sunrise was only founded in 2017, made up of everyday people who care about this crisis. People just like you. Studies have shown that it only takes 3.5% of the population to take a campaign from protest to success. So join one, be a part of the 3.5%. And the next step for power to the people is to vote. The only way we'll get our politicians to tackle the climate crisis is to elect politicians who will make it their number one priority. And not just our president, our senators, our mayors, our city council members, our school board, everyone. All levels of government have the power to shift us to a clean energy economy faster. Over two dozen governors have pledged to rejoin the Paris Climate Treaty, and they represent over half of the US population. The reason? They know the voters who put them in office care about the climate crisis. Voting in the next election could even influence how fast we put the oil industry out of business. So voting is vital for the climate. Even better, run for office yourself. Or you can put your money where your mouth is. What I mean is, change your bank. Digging up all those fossil fuels takes a lot of money, and that money is probably coming from your bank. In fact, since the Paris Climate Agreement, the big banks have funneled $1.9 trillion into the big fossil fuel companies. And they're using your hard-earned money to do it. Chase is the biggest culprit, but all these banks are doing it. Chase, Wells Fargo, Citibank, Bank of America, RBC, Barclays. If you were to pull your money and encourage everyone you know to do the same, these banks would be forced to phase out their fossil fuel funding. Luckily, there are great banks like Amalgamated, Beneficial State Bank, and Aspiration that don't give a dime to fossil fuels, or consider researching your local credit unions. Many credit unions invest in community development projects and still offer all the same services as national banks. We simply can't afford to use any more oil still in the ground, but we can move our money and free our conscience. None of these four things may be plain to see, but what is obvious is this. For just one person, look at all the impact you have.